In this video, we'll be doing um, problems on OMP amps. Okay, you know, OMP amps have amplifiers, so just basic that you'll need to query on with the series. It will be something like this, and this, and this, and this, and this will be your base. This is going to be your collector, this will be your emitter. So, literally, what you're doing, you're getting some sort of small signal, I mean, large signal. You're controlling with a small signal to get a big output. So that's what it is. These OMP amps, they work as like switches. Switches, I mean. So you can just get to control like very high high voltage and currents with very low uh, voltages and current. So that's all I think you need to know. Other than that, let's just dive into the poem. I think you'll see most of the things there. Okay, so cool so as i was saying on the problem this is going to be your collector your emitter this is going to be your base and then let's do the problem or they give us b of which is the gain it's like how many times you are multiplying the the, the input signal to put it like that uh your b it's your gain so there is a formula that says you take um Whatever that comes out of the emitter, you multiply uh, kind of then the base and then you multiply it by that gain. I think we'll take use of that in this problem. Just keep it there. And then let's try to. They're saying, what did they say? They say just find all the voltages and currents. So just find anything that you feel like you should find. I feel like it's worth finding current IB. What is current IB? I think we could use a loop that goes like here 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 and straight to the ground so we're going to use our kv l oh, kv key called voltage law i think yes so how it works take voltage here five minus the drop caused by this resistor resistor will drop around 5k but remember V is equal to I R. So if I have resistance, I'll have to put I at B minus drop by the, uh, this. I just can't, let me say a diode, drop by this diode because they, they are actually diodes inside. Okay, um, of which we know it to be 0 0.7. Um, and then we go here, then we meet this resistor of which will also this was dating not three this was dating this was dating and then now minus three and then this will be here there will be a current e and, and this thing should equal to zero because now we reach the potential of the ground of which is zero and then let's start to work and from here we'll have two unknowns that we don't like that there is this but we can actually change that with this formula okay we'll have five minus dirty ips minus 0 0.7 minus three and instead of ie we'll put ib this formula bb is the grain i think it is said it was 100 then i plug in 100 is this is my 100 is equals to zero then you can put this in your calculator, you get your IP to be equal to. Uh, let me put that in of my calculator. Hopefully, I didn't do any mistake, but in my calculator, I got number like 10013030 amperes. And for calculator purpose, I kept it at A. Don't worry about that A, how I use my calculator. Now, if, you, if I know the current at B, we can actually get the current at E. We know the formula current at E is equal to current at B multiplied by the grain. So actually, I'm taking this answer as it is, multiplied by 100 because our grain was 100, was 100 right? Gain, why am I saying grain? Okay. And then that will be 1.303 amperes. And I don't believe, I can't believe that I did this in the calculator, but I forgive myself. And then we have ie now but we know that whatever current that goes in here should be the same current that goes out here that means we can have current b plus current c should equals to the current in the emitter so actually what we are doing now we're taking our answer here 
plus our answer here to give us a current i mean yes whatever i'm trying to say okay then current in e was 1.3 plus um current in c do we have current in c that's what we are looking for and then current in the base i think we do have 0 0.0 one three and with proper calculations you can get an answer of let me store this answer at b first just write b then now i have so after solving here with your calculator i got a number of one two nine amperes now i have the current here so it's clean as that so all my currents are in milliamperes. I'm making a mistake because I didn't convert my kilo ohms. So whatever I'm getting should be in milliamperes. Should be in milliamperes. Should be in milliamperes. So now we have all the currents. Currents. <laughs> currents. I don't know why I'm turning to current. Okay, cool. Then we can continue now. What else we could look for? We could look for voltage. Voltage at C. Voltage in the collector. Voltage in the collector will be whatever. It will be VCC voltage in the very end of the of the collector path minus vc all over car i mean resistance thereof which is 5k i'll just put five so that i'll get my answer in ohms should equals to the current the current at c current at c which was 1.29 then vcc i think it was given let me just go and sub it in what was it i think it was given to be 15 then from here you can compute your vc to be equals to i think you should get i should get something like um calculator and then you get eight six uh volts cool then we now have i think you also need uh voltage at e voltage at e should um voltage at e minus the ground all over the resistant i'm looking at current here current here and um, resistance is three and that thing should equal to the current e why is my current e why did i put it current e meter is this one okay it should equals to 1.3 then you solve your ve and then you plug this in your calculator you get your ve to b let me just use my calculator and if i didn't make any mistake you'll correct me on the comment section i think it was supposed to be 3909 volts so now we have the voltage here we have the voltage here the only voltage we don't have is voltage vb remember i have to say this vbe is equal to 0 0.7 you already use this because this is what the drop that you get if you are passing through those uh diodes so assuming that it's silicon because it should could have been something else would have changed this number so most of the time we just assumed it's silicon okay cool then uh what are we doing now we have to find vp vb vb minus okay it would be vb b minus vp all over uh resistance in that and uh vpp is voltage as that is supplied here i call this one vpp i call this one vp and i call this one vcc cc is like the very start okay so now vpp was five then i'll have this change to five and then i'll have the resistance there on that base path which was dirty ohms then i'll have 30 kilo ohms i won't put kilos so that i'll get my uh, current in amperes current in amperes uh, forgive me for the pronunciation for current i don't know what is happening with me and then current at b i think i had it somewhere else current at b where are you current at b is this one i didn't look at it one i mean 0 0.013 cool then i can punch this in my calculator and get my vp to be equals to i think should 4.57 volts check if i compute very well but i think i've given all the things that i can get all the parameters that i could get i think i got this got this i got that 
I got that got that I got that got that just three voltages and three currents I think that will be enough thank you